Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Paul. For any new viewers, welcome. Uh, thanks for joining the channel here and tuning in. Uh, before I get started, I'm going to ask you guys, please give a like and subscribe. Not even a like, give a thumbs down if you think the video sucks. But if you do like the videos, please subscribe. I break my ass here. I don't make any money off this channel. I've spent money on camera equipment, tools. I try to bring useful videos to you guys. Doesn't cost anything. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. All right? We're done with that. Let me know in the comments. Do I need to shoot myself in the head? I get like 47,000 viewers and 12 subscribers. I don't understand what that is. But today I got a uh, 2001 Mercedes E430. When I gas this car up, pressure builds up in the gas tank. The vent valve is not working. All right, that is located behind this fender well cover on the uh, rear passenger side on a left-hand drive vehicle. To pull this cover back, you're gonna have to loosen at least two. I took three nuts off. They're 10 millimeter nuts. One is located here, one here, and the other one is on the bottom, right down here, right there. Just gotta take them off, then you can fold this fender liner back and you can get access to the uh, vent solenoid. This just pulls off. I'm gonna put the camera on my head, guys. I don't want to crack it. It's pretty soft rubber. I don't think it will. But I think I might have to pull it down off of the top of the fender too. Let me fiddle with this. All right, that's the vent solenoid right up in here. I think it's got those pain in the ass type hose clips. There's kind of a trick to getting them. You gotta get a little screwdriver, get in the opening on them and pop them open. Then you gotta get a needle nose, bent needle nose and crimp them back together. You could always go with a regular uh, hose clamp if you find them too much of a pain in the ass to fiddle with. Jack your car up, you gotta put your jack up under your rear differential. Jack the car up, then put jack stands. See those little squares? There's jack pads up underneath there. Make sure you put jack stands on both sides. I'm gonna see if I can get to that clamp now. I don't know what kind of camera shots I'm gonna get for you guys here. Probably gonna suck, but of course they got the clamp on the other side, right? Where I can't get to it. That's fucking smart. I think I'm just going to pull this clamp off to get it out. Let me see if I can get to that one. Let me get underneath here. Maybe I can see it that way. Yeah, you got the damn clamp on the back. Genius. How did they do that? They must have put it in assembled. They assembled that on this hose first. Gonna have to do it from this hose. Gonna have to disconnect this hose and get it off. Get your screwdriver in there. See how I'm going in the clamp? It's got like a hollow spot. Try to get a screwdriver in there, pry it a little bit, should open, there it goes, it springs open. You got your connector up top.
Is it on some kind of a bracket up there? Looks like that's on some type of a hanger up there. I'm trying to get this wire off. tab on the wire you gotta depress. Try to get that hose off of there. This clamp, you see how this clamp is designed? You gotta get a plier and drag this clip over this edge and it catches on there. That's how that clamp works. So just get your screwdriver in here and pry it up and it'll bring it over the little lip on here and the clamp snaps open. I may go with regular hose clamps if this is too much of a pain in the ass to get back in. I'm trying to get it off of the hanger up here on the body. That way I can get a better view on what's going on with that wire, how it's being held on there. Yeah, there's a little clip that you gotta depress. He doesn't want to come off. I'm going to get a screwdriver and pry on that a little bit. Let me get a bigger screwdriver. I need a better light. I could go doing tests on this circuit and all this other happy horse shit, but I know this solenoid is bad. It's a cheap part. Well, not so cheap, a hundred bucks, but I believe that's the culprit. I'm gonna go by what I believe. Call me a parts changer. It's my car. If I'm wrong, I eat it. If it was a job I was doing for somebody's, I'd probably uh, take a test light and see if I got voltage back there. See if that control is working on that solenoid. But my car, just swapping out the part. If you guys want me to put a test light on it, I could do that. Look at this part now. I got it around here somewhere. I gotta find the part, was guys. Intermotor CVS46. I bought that from Rock Auto. That's Intermotor CVS46. I'm gonna change this hose around to where it's paint pointing to the front. In case this has to be done again. I hate opening these clips because they are a pain in the ass, but. Get the angles right on here.
hopefully I can get this clip in here. Maybe if I lube that up a little bit. Wendy, a regular pair of needle nose pliers. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Take some patience. Just got it, and I got on the edge, and I got it to grab. So, can be done. If you want to go with just a regular hose clamp, you can do that too. Doesn't really matter. Not going to hurt anything if you don't use that clamp, you know? The bigger one, I hope, will be a little easier to get on. Usually when they're bigger, they're a little easier to deal with. Let me just make sure I'm filming here. Yes, I am. Uh, plug your plug in first. Up and over that bracket. Sit up in here. Oh, I screwed up. I didn't put the hose clamp on first. Get the hose clamp on first, guys. I have a bitch of a time with this hose clamp. I know it. I can see it already. Probably going to wind up going with a regular one. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to get that hose clamp on before I even get that in that bracket. Because this is going to be the hard part. I think I'm going to need my bent needle nose pliers in here. I'm on it too full. I kind of get halfway on it.
Nope, let me try my bent needle nose pliers. Actually, I got a smaller pair of bent needle nose. I'm going to get you them. You guys going to be able to even see anything here. My hands are probably going to be in the way. Clamp come apart. Yeah, that clamp opened up. That makes it even worse. The clamp opened up. Probably gonna go with a regular hose clamp on here, guys. I'll give this one or two more tries. Then I'm gonna go with a regular hose clamp. Comes apart on me again. I'm just going with a regular clamp. I'm going with a regular clamp, guys. I'm gonna stop the video now. I'm gonna get a regular. Get that clamp. angle just right to get that damn clamp over that body bracket. I lean lead under here weird from this angle. Got it with my right hand from a weird angle here, and I got on it. I don't think I'm on it all the way though. There it is. Now it's in. I put a little brake, silicone brake grease on there to help get that on because that's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Silicone brake grease helped to get it on there. Now I gotta try to maneuver my hose clamp where I can get to that. There we go. I got a 516th nut driver on there. And this hose clamp's fucked up, right? Does it surprise me? Absolutely not.
Yeah, this hose climbs bad, guys. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a bitch? Got a screwed up hose clamp. I got a whole wire full of hose clamps somewhere in my basement. I bet you I can't find it. It's gonna come apart again, I bet. Yeah, I'm not gonna play with this hose clamp. Let me go find my hose clamps. Never That's a dull it. moment, right? It's in. Pain in the ass, simple job, but a pain in the ass nonetheless. The simple jobs sometimes are a little bit of a nuisance. But that's the way you get it done. Well, guys, I don't know if that was useful information to anybody, but it's a fidgety job. It's definitely a DIY job. Don't go to a garage. If you can't fill your gas tank up, it's getting pressurized. That's the culprit. These vent solenoids go. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Please give a subscribe. I really would appreciate it. Help the channel grow. The only thing I get from you guys is your support, and I would appreciate it, man. Take good care of yourselves, stay safe with this COVID-19 thing, and hopefully we'll get the numbers down. We'll hit our peak here and get this over with and uh, try to get back to somewhat normalcy, you know? Thanks again. Be well. And remember, take good care of your cars. They'll take good care of you, except when they're not. <laughs> All right, guys. You bye guys bye. This, this is a must-have if you own a Mercedes. It's a Benz Wheel Stud Alignment Guide tool, MBZ2015. I'll see if I can find a link for this on Amazon for you guys. I'll post it at the end of the video in the description. You know how the European uh, lugs are. They're not like the uh, studs coming out. The lugs have the thread on it. You just put this in, then you can hang the wheel on that. And line up your lug holes and be done real fast throwing your tires on and off. All right, guys? Excellent tool. Great to have. I got one in the car in case I get a flat. So pick one of them up. Save you a lot of headaches. Uh, I guess that's it. Torque your wheels to 85 foot-pounds. All right? Be well. Make sure you always torque your wheels. Bye-bye.